time is running out, exams are right around the corner. And what is better than having me, someone you don't know from the internet, telling you how to exam? Let's be honest, in every class, we all know that one friend who's always rushing, panicking, and late to everything. Trust me, you do not want to be that friend when it's exam seasons. You need a solid plan. Now, one thing we all know is that the exams does not care if you're late for whatever reason. If you're riding your bike, if you're taking the bus, or by car, or even by plane, just be there on time, please. For the night before, make sure you pack everything you need for the next day. Double check for your pen, pencils, calculator, and of course, do not forget your ID. Trust me, the last thing you would want to do is rushing on the day of your exam. For me, I even used to choose what clothes to wear for the next day. Now, before the exam starts, I would say about 10 to 15 minutes, please go to the effing washroom. Make sure that you're comfortable and refreshed. Trust me, you don't want that kind of stress in the middle of your exam. So yeah, first thing first, go handle your business. Nobody really talks about this aspect. Your mindset is also very important. It doesn't really matter how much or how little you have prepared for the exams. It is time to face reality. So what's the best thing you can do is accept that you are here right now and you have to try your best. Stop overthinking about what could happen. Just proceed step by step as best as we can. So aka, keep calm and focus on your exam. Step number zero is while you're waiting in the exam hall, write down your name, your ID, read the instructions, and be focused only on your paper. Now let's move on to step number one, is begin with question number one. I would advise not to look at all the questions because sometimes there might be one really tough question that's waiting for you. And let's say you have not prepared or expected that question, what happens is you might be stressed while doing the other questions, which may lead to making silly mistakes. So proceed question by question. Now step number two is do the questions step by step. As you progress through the paper, make sure you're repeating the steps in your mind as well. This will help to minimize mistake and confirm the answers at the same time. Step number three, if you see a hard question, you have two options. You can first read the question, underline all the important information and then come back to it later on. Or you can just skip the question and focus on the easier ones so you do not waste your precious time. Now this one is very obvious. Step number four is attempt all the questions. Never leave a blank page because you will be awarded part box which is better than a zero. Keep in mind that the answers are most often in the question itself. All the informations are given for a reason. Read each sentence one by one and try to understand what it means and what they are looking for as the answer. Step number five is use all the time that has been given to you. Never leave the exam early. Spend your time checking your answers, redoing the questions, and even rereading the instructions so you can be satisfied that you have tried your best at the end. And now finally, step number six, once the exam is over, bye bye. Do not think about it, do not talk about it with your friends because it is useless. The past is the past and focus on your next exam. And as always, I believe in you guys and trying your best is really what matters. So all the best and good luck for your exams.